Oh shit! Right, not much an intro today because we've got to do, we've got to pull our on. <laughs> Gonna brighten these up. Just a bit of something to pass time on while uh, it brings real project art in a minute. Well, I've got a couple of hours in these. A couple of wheels. And I'm not allowed to film this next bit. That's um, top secret stuff. <laughs> I'll have to film it for a different company. They're wanting, they're wanting footage from it, like, so they're obviously not bothered about these. Rusty old piece of equipment. Right, let's make a start. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
Dulak. I wanted to get out top stun so I could flip it over while I was filling pot up. I ain't doing this stuff in here. So I don't know, I just felt a couple of big bits here. That's old media from a different job that's just making its way through. It might be that that just quadrant pot up a little bit. I felt it bounced back in it, mate. You can tell it tries it when it's hitting it up. I might. In fact, it'll be due to clean out this pot. Can you see that? Yeah, I, think, I think it's got some crap in pot. I should have got top of these done anyway with what I had in pot. Right, I'm going to go in there. I think I'm just going to dump it. Yeah, this is what I do when I'm cleaning it out. I've just opened pot up a couple of turns. Um, there's not much in pot so I just give it a little shek and it's it's pretty light. Oh, as light as it gets. So I'm just going to blow this off. Just sent. Right. But all done now is, is another little tip you can do. You can whip your nozzle off. Don't forget your rubber. That little beast. Mm, Cover all this wagon some crap. There's not much in that pot now. So if you did this, what I'm doing now, and if it were full, it would just be pumping sand out. Don't take long to fill a 25 kilo bag at this rate. Push me back this. <laughs> This is still in it. Uh, big bits and all. See, so this is where it come in handy if I had another guy. Because I could be, I could be having in second pot. Getting all crap down to the bottom. But it's not really worth paying him a wage just to check a pot for 10 minutes of the. Mm -hmm. Every couple of weeks. of big bits in there and where I'm not I didn't put that grade in well, I, I have done event uh, originally that's a grade I put in finer stuff that's what I want Right, thin. Do a new one in it to be fair. Oh well. Don't happen to have one with me. But it'll have to do.
Yeah, I run that there. I used to run it, that used to, what they call it, that used to go down and turn my sand on and off on my other pot. Um, you keep that closed, when you shut that, it, it doesn't send no signal down, so it's alright. And then you can open that up, and then it vents it, so it turns your sand on and off. So you can, you can blast with air, just normal air, and shut that off and you can have your media come in with it as well. It's alright when you've got wet head on, so if you've got a uh, wind nozzle, and you just want to clean off with water, you can turn your sand off and you can just hit it with either air, water, whatever. But, I'm going to fill pot up. Your choke valve, turn it back off. Or you'll be wasting a lot of media. And reset your valve again. have a really good time Just said on, on these underside, we were going to tip them over. We just basically said it's not too bad, it's not, it's not that bothered. So I'm just going to knock lo loose off. Oh, it's not
Jeez. Got that heavy. It's full of water, that's why. Tired now. <laughs>